I'm Howard Charles, trustee for Coolington, which is 3,400 3, hectares, situated almost on the top of the ridge in Monero. We normally run sort of 10 to 11,000 sheep, uh, very much a wool growing operation. And we're very fortunate that we're using the Hazeldean genetics, which means we're producing very good wool and a lot of it, uh, which makes it a very profitable operation. Coolington is this beautiful property which the Casey family left for us to administer on behalf of Sydney University. The importance of this property to Monero is that it's been dedicated as a charitable trust supporting research and that research has to be relevant to Monero. On top of that, the trustees want to make it a model farm that matches uh, environmental values, the preservation of those things to the greatest extent possible, but it must also, of course, be profitable. The farm plan is to have 40% native vegetation, native pasture, um, and we manage to conserve that native vegetation, 50% improved pasture, and 10% is loosened flats, which we're very lucky to have. They play a really important part in being able to take the stock down there in the spring and then take the pressure off the native vegetation. And that's the way the whole operation is designed. So we needed to lift our carrying capacity and we needed to improve some pasture in the lambing paddocks to get a high breeding diet. And so we contacted local land services to see if they could help us work our way through the regulation. Well, I could see on the first visit that it was probably what we call low conservation value ground cover. It had been um, grazed for many years and fertilised and so uh, it had changed in species composition, the, the different dominant grasses and much less in the way of diversity and so my suspicion was it was, it was low conservation value and I had to come back and take plot based data to gather evidence to support that. Actually that's plantain, that one, the native plantain. Is that, is that as good as the, the introduced plantain? Well, it's not as big, probably. Mm. That's the, one of the big differences, but uh, it's certainly tough enough to grow in this environment. When I became a trustee in uh, 1999, the property w was uh, well looked after, but it was totally unimproved. And improving it means sowing um, improved pastures because you've got to have a certain proportion of that before you can look after the, the natural areas. Well Monero is a pretty unique uh, climatic area. It's very cold in winter and still pretty hot in summer. Having good ground cover is really important to retain the moisture, to sort of look after the soil microbiology and here our biggest threat is the invasion of African lovegrass and so here, keeping a good ground cover obviously uh, stops having bare areas for seeds to start. Really important. Well, I think it's very important for landowners and local land services to work together um, because in the future there'll be continual changes and updates in technology. And, uh, and, and management systems, and uh, so they can help to keep the farming community uh, up to date and vice versa. Now, working with local land services here has been um, a joy. David has been very easy to work with. He is an expert in his field and the thoroughness that he put into this and the whole operation uh, has been very good from our perspective. I think Cool Ringdon Management is trying really hard to do the right thing and to provide good examples and to run both a profitable and sustainable enterprise as an example to others. Mm -hmm.